Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Hope your week is going well. Right now, Emily and I are going on a walk on this pretty gloomy, rainy day. And that's what we're doing. It's the end of our day. It's been a very crazy Wednesday, but uh, I'm glad, I'm glad it's over. It's almost the weekend. Not that I really have that many plans for the weekend, but Emily does. So that'll be cool. She's going to cake bake. And that's all, that's all that's happened. I hope you're doing well. Um, I, so Emily and I went out to ice cream last night with our friends. We went to lift off. So here's some footage from lift off that I'm about to show you. So we're here at Liftoff Creamery. It's a really cool ice cream shop in downtown Indy. And this is the outside of it. And here's the inside. It's fairly small, but they have about 20, I mean, they had a lot of flavors. I think they had like 20 or 25 different ice cream flavors. And they, and I, I'm pretty sure they serve Ashby Sterling ice cream. So there's, they have a lot of flavors in general, but I got Blue Moon and Emily got strawberry. It was very, very good. And Blue Moon is fruity cereal ice cream. So that was lift off. It was really fun to go there. Uh, they have a lot of flavors, so it was. I really enjoyed it. There's a cherry blossom tree, I think. Maybe it's not, but I don't know what it is. But it's very pretty pink tree. I really like it. The garden with lights. A very whimsical garden. And then they have this caution area patrolled by pug. So we're here in Lockerbie and it just smells amazing. It smells like flowers, very good smelling flowers right now. And I just think it's because everything's blooming. Everything is, you know, it's spring. And I might show you, well, if I haven't already, there's this street in front of me and it's basically covered in pink or purple flowers. It's all very, very cool. I see all these, uh, this road's basically pink from all the flowers. Man, this place is just so photogenic. I'm proud, I'm definitely not doing it justice, but it's just, it's just very pretty. And that tree has purple flowers on it. Look at these beautiful tulips. We're on the uh, photo street in Lockerbie. There's the cobblestone. We actually saw people this week taking pictures in front of these tulips. Hello everyone, so we are back. We've had dinner. It's the end of our night. It's about eight o'clock. It's uh, pretty late right now. So this vlog might be fairly short compared to others because I really didn't do much today. Uh, work was very busy and yeah, it was just very busy. So, and I mean, again, there's not really that, that much to talk about. But um, one thing that did happen that's kind of interesting is I found out that my boss really likes progressive house music. Do any of you know what that is? Do you like progressive house music? I think it's, I, I still don't fully understand what it is, but I assume it's just similar to rave music or um, EDM music or yeah, music like that, like dubstep, but it's not. I guess if you know what that is, you're probably, you probably think it's nothing like any of those things or it's like, it's a branch of those type of, that type of music. So I'm just now learning about it. I guess it's, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So there's this whole world of people that love progressive house music. I kind of view it just as party music, you know? So, yeah. And um, I also saw that, oh, I'm very excited about this, is Anthony Bourdain's, there's gonna be a documentary about Anthony Bourdain called Roadrunner. And it's supposed to come out this summer. So it, I guess it shows that some, uh, movie festival in June, and then it releases in July. So I really like Anthony Bourdain. I grew up watching the Travel Channel, and 
uh, just all of his cooking shows. And I think he was also on CNN, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I assume I just, I watched him on the Travel Channel and then I think I saw him on Netflix uh, or Hulu or something after that, after I didn't really have TV. So I really like Anthony Bourdain. He's a very interesting, um, just great documentary person, documentary person, great speaker, great, uh, he's just, he's just, a, he's just a cool guy. So it will be interesting to see how this documentary turns out. I'm definitely going to watch it. I know it's going to be on, uh, HBO max as well as in theaters. That will be good. I'm, I love that HBO max has movies coming out before or has movies that are in theaters on their subscription. I think that's wild. I kind of have a feeling though that that might go away or you'll pay $10 a month to be able to watch movies that are released or if not more on your uh, subscription. So yeah. And oh yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes. I mean, you like people obviously want movie theaters to open back up and I love movie theater popcorn, but who knows what will happen? Who knows? So yeah, a, like a bunch of stuff just went through my mind, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. I think it was just thinking about movies and I do miss movies. I do miss movie theaters. Uh, oh, I was thinking about Apple, Apple TV. So we have Apple TV. We just get it for free through, I guess, Apple or something. I don't know how we get it for free. We get it for free. I think you can get it for free for a year or something. Or I got, I think I signed up for it last year and I don't know what's happening. They just give me a credit for it. So we have Apple TV and I, I want to watch a few of their series that are on there. I really have enjoyed, which I'm sure not a lot of people will like this show, but I've really enjoyed, oh, is it called? I think it's called Central Park. It's the same people that made Bob's Burgers. I think it's awesome. I love Central Park. I think it's, I've really enjoyed it and I can't wait for season two. <clears throat> and that comes out in July, I think. Um, yeah, I love that show. It's just a very fun, relaxing cartoon show. So it's gonna storm tonight and it's gonna storm pretty, I think it's gonna be a pretty big storm. I do love spring, summer storms. Uh, you know, in the summertime when I lived in Illinois, I would uh, stay at my university over the summer and some of my friends would too. They would, you know, you work at the university and um, it's just fun. Like no one's on campus really, just other kids that are working out at the university. And one of my favorite memories was, I remember a giant, well, there's a lot of memories that go with storms, um, but one time it was a huge storm. You can't even drive in it, it was bad. Like it was tornado warnings and all of this stuff. And me and my friend went to Kroger. And I just remember getting out of the car and it just being like literally a waterfall and immediately when we got out of the car, our clothes got drenched. I mean, it was just insane. We go into Kroger, no one's in there because everyone's, you know, in probably in their basement with a flashlight or whatever you do for tornado warnings. But we went in there, you know, I think we got some ice cream and we, been, we went back to our apartment and just chilled. So that was really fun. But you know, there's a lot that goes with that because I remember he used to have this really uh, really, uh, like he, not the greatest car and he would drive through huge puddles and it was so ridiculous. Like you would, he would drive through a puddle and you couldn't even see, like he would have his windshield wipers on. We weren't very far from our university by the Kroger, but he would do that. And so fun. Another time was, um, well, I remember frequently in the summer they would, uh, you would have like these major tornado warnings and, um, or no, not, not frequently, probably like twice a summer you would have a tornado warning. And, um, I remember one time we were hosting, I think a, a volleyball camp or some event and we were in one of the student buildings and everyone, well, it was the dining hall and everyone during uh, dinner had to go into the basement 
and there's probably a hundred plus people in the basement and all the lights are turning off because of the storm. Those are fun memories, you know, like especially when you're a student and there's not really anyone else there. You, you just, it's just fun. It's, it's a fun memory. So, and that would happen. I think other times that happened, we were in our apartments and, you know, you have to hide in your storage closet or whatever. And nothing really major ever really happened, but not that it couldn't, it just nothing really crazy happened when I was there. So yeah, it was, it was fun. I love, I love, uh, summertime. I love being at universities during summertime. Just, I will always probably have memories with that. Yeah. So, but it's going to storm tonight. I think it's going to be really, uh, really pretty to watch. And I, when we were on our walk, I could just smell the uh, streets, you know, when rain hits the, the concrete, that smell. I love that smell. So, yeah. You know, it is crazy to me. So I feel like, at least in Virginia, it uh, it rains so much. And I feel like it rains way more than it used to um, there. Because it seems like almost every time I'm about to go there, especially in the summertime, it's there's like it, they say, oh, the Dan River uh, flooded or one of the major one of the rivers flooded and all of this stuff. It's crazy. I don't ever remember that happening when I lived there, but it does rain a lot. I feel like it rains more in my town in Virginia than it does in even Illinois, where I was at and about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, an hour from Chicago. And even probably, I don't know, I imagine it rains more there than here, but maybe that's not true. I don't know. I'm sure I could just look that up, but it feels like it does rain there. So that's crazy. It, it, Virginia is nice because it has four very distinct seasons, which, which are pretty mild besides maybe summer. Um, you know, you don't get that much snow, at least where I was at, but it's enough. And the fall is very beautiful. And the summers are pretty hot. But, I, you know, everyone, my opinion is everyone thinks their state has the hottest summers, you know. So, which, you know, probably maybe, maybe you live somewhere that ha really does have the hottest summer. But then you, you factor in the humidity and so... Whatever, I bet, I feel like probably uh, Arizona has the hottest summer, so. Or Cal, I don't know, I don't actually know. I don't wanna get into that. I don't really know who has the hottest. Okay, I think um, I think that's all, because I'm just talking about random stuff at this point, which is probably what I, I, I do often. But anyways, if you're still watching this, comment down below thunderstorm, because that's what we're gonna be getting into tonight, a thunderstorm. And it's really nice because out here, I can see the, the lightning and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a view. It's not, I don't have it blocked off by other buildings or you know skyscrapers or stuff. It's pretty nice. I can just see the sky. So, which is what the time lapse is. It's just out here. So it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, that's all. I hope you all have a good Thursday. Hope you all have a good Friday. Well, no, Thursday is today when, hope you all have a good Wednesday, and I hope you have a good Thursday tomorrow. And um, yeah, I hope you, I hope something great happens to you tomorrow. If no one's told you this, you are loved, and this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.